guys, welcome back. So today's video is going to be my April beauty favorites. I have about 8 to 10 products here to share with you guys, some being makeup, some being skincare, and even a hair care product. I wanted to quickly talk about the fact that I cut my hair. Um, if you guys follow me on social media, then you've probably seen that I have gone from very, very, very long hair, like down to my hips, and I have been cutting it gradually over a few months now. Um, and my hair has been growing so fast. The first time I cut it, it was a little bit longer than this and it grew like three inches in two months. I'm not even kidding. So I'm just not ready for long hair again. So I keep cutting it every time it keeps growing. And this has probably been my favorite cut. It's the shortest I've gone and she did such a good job. It looks so cute, so fun for spring and summer. Uh, I did have her, just in case you guys are curious, I had her um, pretty much point cut everything, which means that instead of going like straight across, she like goes like this. So it gives it so much more texture and just kind of more of like a messy vibe. My first favorite is a foundation, and it is not new. It is the Makeup Forever HD Foundation. My sister used to work at Sephora and got tons of free makeup, and she had this baby lying around, and I was like, if you're not gonna use that, I will use that. Like, come on, it's such a great foundation. So it matched my color, and I got a free foundation. I lost the lid, so disregard that. This foundation is about medium coverage. I think it's definitely buildable, but it's not too heavy. I absolutely love the finish of it. It's not super dewy, not super matte. It's kind of more of like a satin finish. Like I said, I wore it on my wedding and it lasted all night. Made my skin look really great and flawless. So that's why I wanted this to be a favorite this month because I just think it's a really great foundation, especially for photography. Um, I will wear it on a day-to-day -day basis, but if you're getting married or have photos or any like senior photos or something, this is a great foundation to pick up. My next favorite is probably my favorite thing I have to share with you guys, and this is the new Lorac Highlighter in the shade Twilight. They came out with about four different shades. This is very, very similar to Becca's Opal. That's how I would describe the color. Um, and it, they are so smooth and pigmented, I can't even like handle it. Like, let me show you how beautiful that is. I'm like, I feel like it's not picking up quite like I need it to. Well, this is going to be best for people with skin tones my color and darker um, because it is one of the more darker shades. They have one that's really, really light and kind of champagne-y and then also one that's more gold, very similar to the Mary Luminizer kind of shade. The first time I dipped in to use this, I stuck my brush in there and wiggled it around like I would with most powders and it like was so much product on the brush. So you definitely want to be light-handed because a little goes a long way, but it is such a stunning color and they're, I mean seriously, so creamy, like I don't know if you can see my highlight today, but it just looks so buttery and smooth and just such a beautiful color. My next favorite is actually a sample that I got one time when I went to Sephora recently and they just kind of threw it in my bag. This is an eyeliner by Sephora, the brand Sephora, and it's a mini one obviously, so I'm assuming they have this in a full size. And this is in the shade Flirting Game. Flirting Game. That is such a weird name. But this is such a beautiful eyeliner, you guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and swatch it right here for you. This eyeliner is a purpley taupe shade, and I was very impressed right away by the creaminess of these eyeliners, the pigmentation, and this is so beautiful with a smoky eye. You just throw this in your waterline, even like up on top of the lashes, kind of smudge it out, and it is so different and so beautiful. Really, really great quality, so I definitely want to get a full size of this. Okay, so my next favorite is an eyeliner as well. This is the NYX Matte Liquid Liner. Now, if you guys have been following my channel, you know that I am ride or die for the NYC Liquid Liner. I've been using that pretty much any time I put eyeliner on, I use that one. I haven't branched out and tried any other liners until now. The reason I decided to try a new one finally is because I realized that the NYC ones, anytime I get a new one, there's always hairs that are kind of like springing off. You know, like the hairs aren't in sync with each other and give you a smooth application. It can be a little bit difficult to apply. Um, so I decided to try this guy and I think I have a new favorite. So the reason I like this one more is because first of all, the brush is more stiff. I don't know if it's shorter or what, but it's more stiff so I'm able to get much smoother lines. Um, so much easier to apply and there was no brush hairs that were sticking out when I bought it. So, so far I've really been liking it. When I apply the NYC one, if I make a mistake, I'm usually able to take a Q-tip and hurry and like, clean it up and fix it. With this, as soon as it dries, it's stuck. It's 
on there, which is a good thing because it's long wearing and it's not going to budge, but it can be bad because I mess up my wing eyeliner all the time and I usually have to fix it. So it's a little frustrating because it dries really fast and I have to push a little harder to get it off. Um, sometimes I have to fix my eyeshadow and stuff, but I think I still prefer this one because it's so much easier to apply and it's going to be really long wearing. The NYC one, obviously if your eyes water or something, it might come off. This guy isn't moving. Okay, moving on to lips. I have a few different lip products this month. Um, so first I want to talk about two lip glosses. These are the Maybelline New York... Let me get the name right. These are the Maybelline New York Color Elixir lip glosses. Now I bought one of these years ago and I really really was impressed by the formula and I don't know what took me so long to buy more of them I just hadn't and the first color I had gotten was this mauve shade the color is unfortunately no longer on there it's kind of rubbed off so I will definitely figure out what color this is and list it down below but this is a mauve shade and it's just great for everyday wear it goes um, great over multiple lipsticks that are similar in the pinky shade so here's that one. It's quite pigmented. I mean, they're not like full coverage like lipsticks, obviously, which wasn't what I wanted. Um, but they're quite pigmented, very creamy, not sticky. I mean, they seriously feel like buttery on the lips and they give you a great shine. Really, really like this one. But this one I like even more. I recently picked this one up and this is in the shade Enthralling Nude. And it's kind of this peachy, it looks pretty peach in the packaging, but it's super sheer when you put it on. I'll swatch it on my hand. So as you can see that, it does not come off super pink. It's very nude, has a hint of like sparkle in it. Um, I am wearing it today over top of another lipstick that I'm gonna talk about. And it just gives you that like wet, glossy look that everybody loves, like movie star status. Mm, and they smell great, they're so creamy. Mm, I just love them. These and the NYX Butter Glosses are probably my two favorite lip glosses ever that I've tried. My favorite lip combo right now is actually the one I'm wearing right now, and I just take a nude lip liner. This is the lip liner from Over Cosmetics in the shade Mauve, but it's not mauve. It's 100% nude, so I don't know why they call it that. And then I throw on the Maybelline Color Sensational Lipstick in the shade Nude Lust, and then top it off with this gloss and... It just is such a beautiful combo. The liner gives it a little bit of dimension, beautiful nude shade, and then top it off with that fun, creamy gloss, and I just love it. The last lipstick I want to tell you guys about is the Maybelline Vivid Matte Liquid Lipstick. I'm sure you guys have seen and heard about these all over YouTube. See them in your local drugstore. The shade I picked up is called Nude Flush, and it looks like this. It is a nude pink, and I'll swatch it on my hand for you guys. Here is the shade right here. It's just a beautiful light pink. And these are very, very unique in consistency. They're extremely creamy. Um, they don't dry totally matte like most matte lipsticks do. So they're not 100% matte, but they still kind of give the matte effect. However, they remain creamy and smooth on the lips. So you're still able to glide your lips together. But I mostly just love the color for this one. I think it's really, really beautiful color. I want to try a few others. Um, the smell is not my favorite. It's a little strong. I think mostly I don't like that I can taste it when I put it on my lips. But I really love the color and the consistency is pretty cool. So if you haven't tried one of these, you probably should. Okay, moving on. My next favorite is the L'Oreal Telescopic Carbon Black Mascara. I usually don't talk about mascara mascaras that often because I've always used so many different mascaras. I've never really had like a favorite ride or die mascara. Um, but I really wanted to mention this guy because... I do kind of have a love-hate relationship with him, which I think I have mentioned before in a video. Once this dries, if you keep trying to put more mascara on, it starts to get clumpy really fast. So you just kind of have to figure out how much time you need to spend on each eye and then you can kind of avoid that. Um, but it definitely makes my lashes look so long and I think, I think the reason that I love this so much is because this is the first mascara that I have used that I haven't needed to curl my eyelashes with, which is crazy because my eyelashes are so straight, they literally go down. They go down like this. And um, so I have been curling my lashes since I started wearing makeup because I absolutely can't stand them. Just a few days ago, I accidentally left my eyelash curler with my sister-in-law and I needed to put mascara on, so I wore this mascara and didn't get to curl my eyelashes, but I was like, whoa, 
they look great. Like they almost looked better without the curl. So I started to wear this more and more without curling my lashes and my eyelashes still look freaking awesome. For some reason this just works great with my lashes without curling them which is a miracle because I don't necessarily like curling my lashes all the time because it can damage them and pull them out and all that great stuff. So I was like, if I can use this without curling my lashes, that's going to save my lashes. I've been looking for a really great clay mask to use once a week because I just love clay masks. They just give you a really good deep clean at the end of every week when you've been wearing tons of makeup and your skin just needs a good, you know, clean. I am a little bit of a skincare Nazi because I went to school for skin. Um, I learned about ingredients and how important it is to actually find something that has good ingredients and works on the skin. So I definitely checked out the ingredients before I bought this and made sure it was actually going to make a difference. So this has kaolin, which is a very popular ingredient in a lot of clay cleansers. It has salicylic acid, glycolic acid, and obviously some charcoal, which all help to purify the skin, get rid of dirt, increase cell turnover rate, all that good stuff. It says it's a two-in-one cleanser and mask, meaning you could actually use it and just rub it into your skin and use it as your cleanser, or you can put it on the skin, leave it on there for five to 10 minutes and actually use it as a mask. So I just apply this all over and leave it on for about five to 10 minutes once a week. And I feel like my skin is definitely cleaner. You know, it's really, I can see little things that it's pulling out of my skin, which is what you want out of a clay cleanser. I would say it's not as good, definitely not as good as the Glam Glow but, um, clay mask. Love that one. It really sucks everything you got in your face out. Totally awesome. But for this price, this is a great dupe, I would say, for that. Um, you're still going to get that pulling of impurity kind of deal. A good purifying mask once a week is so essential. Um, I also use hydrating masks as well. Sometimes I use multiple masks in a week just to make sure I'm getting a really good clean. Um, and I notice that my skin just looks 100% better when I incorporate masks into my skincare. Okay guys, last but not least is a hair care product. Obviously, I did cut my hair and I also colored it. Um, and when you're coloring your hair and stuff, you start to get a little bit of damage. Uh, I definitely noticed that my hair has been pretty frizzy and I've had tons of flyaways like in my part. Um, and it was just a little out of control. So one of the girls at my work recommended this Red Ken Frizz Dismiss Shampoo and Conditioner. I personally only have the shampoo right now because I had some conditioner already and haven't picked up the conditioner yet, but I do want to get both of them and pair them together because they would work twice as good. But even just using this shampoo every day has changed the frizziness of my hair. It's so much smoother, so much more tame, and I've definitely seen a difference. So if you've got frizzy hair, um, dry hair, it's got great oils in it, it's sulfate free, which is huge because those sulfate my goodness, sulfates are what dry out the hair. So a good sulfate-free shampoo like this one is really going to change the look of your hair. So that is it for my April Beauty Favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Don't forget to list any favorites you guys have been loving down below. I love hearing what everybody else is loving to use. Um, also give the video a thumbs up if you haven't already and you enjoyed it. And subscribe as well. I'd love to have you as my subscriber. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! I picked this up because I have been looking for a great clay mask. Oh my gosh. Are you kidding me?